Most people aren't willing to pay the price to be successful. Penn State football has a long history. People are going to see a Penn State that they've never seen before. We're the hardest working team in the country. Getting ready to board this jet. Head out to Chicago, represent Penn State. I was thinking over here. Growing up, I was going to be a pilot, and I switched my mind coming into college, but uh, obviously pretty cool being up there and getting to see how they uh, oh, you know, <laughs> fly this thing around a little bit. The 2014 Penn State football campaign kicked off in the Windy City with Big Ten Media Day. It's a different brand of football, a different attitude towards things. You know, you're in an airport, someone's screaming out, we are. Um, you walk around the campus. I mean, it, it's it's a special place. <laughs> Have you uh, facing over here? That was ESPN. A little shoot going on. I'm a kicker, so it's kind of a little awkward a little bit. Because I'm not, like, flexing or hitting people the whole time. He is a guy who is relentlessly optimistic. He has boundless energy. Hard not to play for a guy with so much passion. I think it's confidence, total confidence in, in what he believes in and what he's doing. What he's done already on the recruiting trail uh, has turned a lot of heads. Uh, and I think he's going to be a guy who's really going to inject some energy, not only in the Penn State, but in the Big Ten as a whole. As soon as you kind of smell that fresh cut grass, you know, that's when you start thinking about football season. Coach James Franklin's pedal to the metal philosophy showed up back in Happy Valley on Penn State's media day. The foot does not come off the floor, ever. It's been seven months since we arrived and we've gotten a lot of work done in a short period of time and excited to get going and working with these guys day in and day out. The staff's done a great job of preparing. The players have been unbelievable. We had one of the strongest semesters we've ever had academically. Works really hard every single day. I'm focused on chemistry and morale. That's the plan going in ahead of time. So we're gonna maximize our practices. We're gonna maximize the hours. Seven thousand every single game from here on out. Touchdown, Penn State! He's hit, down he goes! This is the start of it. You guys have had a great summer. Really appreciate all the hard work that everybody's put into it. And now it's time to get to work. Koa, you want to read the quote? We always start with a quote. Someone reads at the start meeting. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but it happens. Very good, very good, very good. All we're going to do is we're going to finish this day off the right way. We're going to wake up tomorrow morning. We're going to do a back handspring out of bed attack the day with everything we have, the best day we've ever had, the more days we put together like that during camp, the season will take care of itself. Right now, it's about being the best Penn State we possibly can be. Does everybody understand that? We are gonna be the most focused program in the country on whatever our next objective is. And right now, it's tomorrow's practice. What better way to start the day than with a 6 a.m. wake up call and a familiar tune.
your Nittany Lions were awake, inspired, and poised to attack the day and the breakfast training table. In 27 days, it's going to be here before you know it. We're going to get on that plane to fly to Ireland to beat Central Florida on national television. Those 27 days are going to fly by, so take advantage of each one of them. We're going to win because of how we play on defense. When people watch us play, they say, that's how you play defense. When people watch us play, they should say, that's how you play on offense. Be the best team that we can be, focus on that. Be greater than the sum of our parts and focus on Penn State. After a productive summer, it was finally time to hit the practice field. It's a whole new ball game when you throw helmets and numbers in there. Fly around. Fly around makes some plays. Let's go! Practice ended with a challenge to special teams. You miss, they run! No! No! They're running! Double or nothing, Devaney! Double or nothing! Let's pick it! We're pick it! Let's go, money, where you at? Good work today for one, not bad for one. Can you do it tomorrow? Champions can do it over and over and over. Really good number one. Really good number one. Got a lot of really good work done. Got a lot of reps for a lot of different guys. Got a lot of really good learning. So great job, appreciate the hard work. For us to get where we wanna be, it's about taking it one day at a time and making each day your masterpiece. Does that make sense? Yes, so let's fix that and let's approach it that way and let's make sure we got great leadership, not just with the senior class, but all the way down through. Everybody got me? Sir. All right, let's get a break. Hey, hey, good first, first day here. Oh, yeah. We got camp running out threes. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Training camp is hard work. Don't oh, 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 oh. be so quick to get out of here. Go. Good job right there. Good job. Let's have a great day. It's also a lot of fun for the entire Penn State family. I want it back. That was on purpose. That was on purpose. I swear that was on purpose. You got me mic'd up today. Should be a good day. I'm gonna have fun with it. Hey, hey. Ooh, chicken legs. Hey, yo. <laughs> Ooh, chicken legs. These are frog legs, cuz. Yeah. They're not chicken legs. I can bro, you, you gotta hit the squat right, bro. Please, right? Hey, my friend. So now I'm kind of strong though for real. Oh, you're strong on top, but your legs are like toothpicks. Hey, look, as long as they strong, I'm straight, right? It's yeah. too big, I'm weigh like 245. But it's all gonna be up here, bro. You top heavy right now, bro. You gotta shorten you down a little bit. That all the weight of your legs. You look like me. You mic'd up? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Franklin believes chemistry builds loyalty, and loyalty builds trust, when combined, you create the ultimate teammate. When I go around this room 
and I ask people who their ultimate teammate is, your goal is to try to get as many people in this room to say you because you've earned your peers' respect. Zettel, ultimate teammate. Um, ben Klein. Ben Klein. Uh, that's very interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> I, I towed Zettel's car. <laughs> That was either you or Clyde. No, I'd say guy. No! Uh, we about to go to team dinner at Pollock. It's where we break bread like Jesus said. And then he lying trading table. Sometimes I cut the line, but you gotta be smart. You gotta be slick about it. Come on, let me show you what's good. Yo, what's up, y'all? See, you gotta say what's good to everybody, so they think you just passing by. Yo, what's up? What's Gucci with you? How you doing? Can I have uh, ch two chicken breasts, please? Two, two. Oh, my bad. And may I have some macaroni and cheese as well? I'm sorry. Time out, time out. Time out. He just cut. He did cut. Don't let the camera get it confused. He just cut. No. This is a, a normal day um, here at lunch for the Penn State football team. The Boof still rocking his camp shirt and tattoo. Freaking Diesel still rocking his camp shirt. Brian Guy with, you know, rocking his camp shirt. Loving it. Gallon Birdie still rocking his camp shirt. Pick a shirt for the duration of camp. And you have to wear it the entire time. It's a little competition within the group. The camp shirts. It's just, you know. Tradition. Just tradition. And it, it takes your mind off of the everyday grind of camp. For Devin Pryor, a senior from Huntington, England, football has two meetings. It's a steal. Stop playing soccer, it's football time. Yo, put this soccer in. It's soccer time. It ain't football time. I'm ready to play some football. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, crap. That's so great. 107,000 every single game from here on out. Special treat tonight, Dr. Richard Bundy, Professor of Music Education, Director of the Penn State Blue Band, has come tonight to teach us the right way to sing the alma mater. I've been at Penn State for 35 years. I just announced I'm going to retire at the end of this year. I didn't think there'd be anything new I would have experienced. But to get the chance to come down here, and uh, meet with you guys for a little bit. The Penn State football team is something I would have never imagined when I started back here in 1980. Alma Mater was written way back in 1901. It was first done in 1901, so it's been around a long, long time. The words were written by Fred Louis Petit, for whom Petit Library is named. It's a hymn, and each verse is the same. It's the lyrics that change in each verse. As we talk about being at childhood's gate and being shapeless in the hands of fate and the molding that goes on here at Penn State and making us into men and women. Those words have terrific meaning to Penn Staters. I'll sing one and then you sing one. I know we got better singers in here than me. Listen. For the glory of old state. Repeat that. For the glory of old state. 